So typically, I mean, clients come at all stages of change. Some think they're ready and they want to change to get into recovery or they want to try it out, if you will. It's usually, in my experience, is when they're kind of, their, their pain outweighs everything else at that given time. So they're like at the bottom and they are just seeking anything and everything to help them get to a place where they feel that they no longer have to suffer. My name is Colby and I'm the team lead for the Recovery Oriented System of Care program. It is a program that is within the DI that encompasses the medical detox program as well as the recovery transition program for our clients. It also houses the clients while they wait for treatment, so the recovery transition program. So the idea is that it is a safe, stable program for clients to be in while they wait to go to treatment. And so they get to stay with us and learn how to have life skills and prepare themselves for their treatment journey. A lot of it is um, getting to see clients with life back into their eyes after they've detoxed or were out there waiting to go to treatment. I love that. It's as a person in recovery, I think that is something that obviously drives my motivation is to continue to be a part of the recovery community. And I also honestly love the team that I work with. Um, I've never had such great leadership that makes me want to come to work and just like the simple joy of uh, being in a work environment where I get to do my passion as well as be supported. I think the biggest piece is that we are finally getting those clients who've continued to try to get to treatment, who've actually wanted it, to treatment. So I think having our program, specifically the Recovery Transition Program, has given us the ability to stop that cycle. Uh, a client of ours through the DI had been a client I think for close to six or seven years. He had not seen his mom or his grandchildren at all, like years and years of, you know, we don't trust you, we can't be around the family. He ended up getting into treatment end of last year and we just got word that he got housed. He's finally rebuilt his relationship with his mom. He was one of our really big success stories because he's been trying so hard and for so long and actually into recovery. And so when he told us that he's been finally able to see his grandchild, the smile on his face and like the tears in his eyes, like it was honestly one of the best things that we could have ever experienced. Anyone and everyone can suffer from addiction. You don't have to look the part. The more educated we are about it and understanding just why addiction happens or why people suffer from it, um, I think will help continue to break that stigma. Being a person in recovery and knowing how impactful the staff that you interact with wherever you are makes or breaks your journey. Being in the role I'm in, I get to help lead and empower my staff to be able to be that positive experience for those. Hey, words matter. Hey, how you show up matters. And when you feel that sense of like someone's believing in you or that you're finally worthy enough or you feel that, there's nothing that can honestly replace that or give me the same sense of joy. 